time it. Oh, it was great. How quick is the moment? We were keeping a pretty good pace. From one heartbeat to the next. We felt good. We were, we were running a good race. It is a split second in the heart of a runner who is nearing the finish line. We were having a good time. That split second for Tim Nelms of McDonough. I had no clue I had any problem whatsoever. That split second just short of the finish line at the 2017 AJC Peachtree Road Race. No chest pains, no shortness of breath, nothing. Took Tim Nelms from life to death that fast. I remember starting towards the ground, but I don't remember anything after that. Defining the rest of his life. I didn't hear the words that day, <clears throat> but I heard them later. Sudden cardiac death. Sudden cardiac death. Sudden cardiac death. Tim Nelms, a marathon runner with a strong heart, a fit heart, but he didn't know. I had an artery that was 100% blocked. He never thought he would ever have a clogged artery. I was a runner. I thought I was out running this. But that was the problem as he was approaching the finish line. Tim Nelms and his then 61-year-old heart could not outrun that clogged artery. Are you telling me that your heart stopped? Totally. Just then, Dr. Douglas Ander, an emergency medicine physician from Emory and Grady Hospital, about to cross the finish line himself, saw Tim Nelms collapse. And so he stopped. And Dr. Ander performed CPR while the track club's medical response team rallied using a portable AED to shock Nelms' heart and get him to the hospital. They found the blocked artery. They uh, inserted the stent. Doctors told Tim Nelms that a heart that was less fit than a runner's heart might not have survived. And Nelms, who often worked out alone along the quieter roads of Henry County, also knows he could easily have collapsed a day or two earlier where there would have been no one around to help him. You know, I picked the perfect place in the world to have cardiac arrest event. That's all there is to it. Everything that I could have possibly wished for was probably more readily available there than even in a hospital, maybe. Tim Nelm slowly resumed his running under his doctor's care, under his family's care, getting ready for another peach tree, even healthier and wiser about getting regular checkups. I'd done a marathon, I thought I was clear. I was wrong. He is determined to finish the peach tree this time. I've never not finished. And that, that kind of sounds kind of goofy, I guess, but I need to cross the finish line. And in celebration, Tim Nelms and Dr. Douglas Ander decided to run the 2018 Peachtree together. Nelms running for Dr. Ander and all the others who saved his life. That split second from one heartbeat to the next a year ago defines Tim Nelms' life now. Grateful for every moment and remembering for the rest of his life the peach tree that saved his life. I owe them everything I have. I just wanted to say thank you to them. I'm looking forward to it.